Good morning, Chargers. It's Wednesday the 12th, and we got your news. That's right. Today we have news on Sadie's, creative minds, volunteer opportunities, and more. So here we go. DP News starts now. Sophomores, listen up. Next week on Tuesday and Wednesday, all you 10th graders will be taking the ever so fun, ever so exciting California High School exit exam. The exam starts at 8, so you need to be in your designated place by 7.55 in the morning. Students with last names A through RI will be in the gym, while last names RO through Z will be in the cafeteria. Good luck, and we will see you on the other side. City of Hawkins Dance is this Friday, March 14th. Tickets are being sold outside of the athletics office. Remember, remember, you do not need a date to have a good time. Go with a group of friends, go with yourself, or go hug a cactus. Tickets are $5 with a charger card, $8 without, and $10 outside the door. Be sure to go. That's right, I'm really excited. Well, Nate, you know that Sadie's is our Hicktown dance. Yeah, so? So that means that we are going all out country style. But do you know what that means? No, do tell me. It means that we are gonna be line dancing at the dance. That's right, kiddos, we're gonna do it hoedown style. But Colleen, I don't know how to line dance. Well, don't fear, Nate, because today and tomorrow in the Greek, we are having line dancing classes to get ready for the big night on Friday. So if you're like Nate, Come on out to the Greek, bring your friends, and learn some fun moves to show off at the dance. If you saw those posters about exploring creativity out or on campus and replied with your ideas, one of you has prevailed. Some lucky winner has gained a spot in next year's class. The triangle poster from last week asked, what is this? If you sent an anonymous email and answered, it's a yield sign in a snow tornado where the weather is so strong that it has blown off the yield letters and the sign is blowing away upside down, you are the winner of a slot for exploring creativity next fall. Please see Mr. Sayer in the theater for more details. Meanwhile, for the rest of you, it's not too late for everyone else to sign up to explore your creative potential, create cool projects, and take a class that will help you get jobs with places like Google and Pixar someday. Sign up for exploring creativity on your course request forms. The Kids and Teen Expo is taking place at La Cumbra Plaza Saturday, March 15th from 9.30 to 2 p.m. There are camps, sports, and kids classes, fitness and health booths, and even an education zone. You, yes you, are invited to participate in the 22nd Annual Youth Conference led by El Congreso of UCSB that is being held on Saturday, April 19th. They will have workshops, presentations, panels, and discussions for students considering college and their future. This free event is provided to any member of the family, so both parents and students are more than welcome. Lunch and snacks will be provided for all in attendance. If you are interested, apply at elcongreso.ucsb.weebly.com. For more info, contact Ms. Perea in the counseling office. Annual County Architecture Competition is Tuesday, March 25th during spring break. Anyone interested in architecture should definitely compete. Please contact Mr. Jones as soon as possible in S3 if you, have, if you need any information or need any help. Many past winners have no architectural training. Clubs meeting today are Baking for a Cause, Spanish, Catholic, Debate, DECA, Ceramics, Sailing, Environmental, Friday Night Live, Good Food, Humanitarian, Indian Culture, Junior Classical League Latin, Local Colors, Paintball Club, Students Aiding and Volunteering for Earth, Theater Company, Virtual Enterprise, and the Young Life Clubs. Well, this Friday is the much-awaited Grease Poll. Come to the Greek at lunch to watch your favorite seniors <laughs> compete in this fun and exciting and a little bit disgusting event. Be sure to get there early for a good seat. Well, that's all the news that we have for you today. As always, I'm Nate Laura. I hope you have an awesome day, Chargers. And I continue to be Colleen Murphy. Let's give it over to John with our sports news. Last night, boys volleyball traveled down to Arroyo Grande for a game at their gym. 
Our boys swept the sets going 25-21, 25-18, and 25-21. Our boys are 2-2 two two in their season and have another game tomorrow in our gym against rival Santa Barbara, so be there to support. Today, our 2-1 girls softball team heads down to Pacifica for a non-league match in the Pac View tournament at 3.30. Good luck. Boys tennis had a huge match in the Channel League opener last night against Santa Barbara. We came in as the underdogs against the Dons who were unbeaten in their last 13 Channel League seasons and had an 114 match winning streak. Imagine this, the last time Santa Barbara has lost a boys tennis Channel League meet was in 2000. That was the year Frosted Tips were in, Slap Bracelets, Mean Girls, The Osbournes, Tamagotchi Toys, and AOL Messengers were all the rage. That's the last time Santa Barbara was beat in a Channel League. Until they faced DP 2014. In singles, we took three crucial sets. Quinn Hensley, who fell behind early, rallied to win a tight tiebreaker 7-6, 11-9. Senior Patrick Corpus had a fake, shaky first set, but redeemed himself in the next two sets, going 6-1 six and 6-0. And and in doubles, we took seven of nine sets, led by partners Mason Cassidy and Joshua Wang, who only gave up one game, dominating 6-1, 6-0, 6-0. The boys pulled off a great win overall with a final match score of 10 to 8 and ending the dawn streak. The boys are now 4 and 0 in their season. Great job, guys. Well, that's all the sports news I have for you. I'm John from DP News. Have a good day, DP.